Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are at the military base because you know we are going to be testing out some things from Stormworks Search and Destroy DLC. So let's go ahead and get in the workbench and we are going to build a big Bertha gun. Hopefully this goes well. Okie dokie, so I guess what we should start with is the gun itself. If I go ahead and type in Berth, uh, then maybe we actually get all of the parts, which indeed we do. So this is the Bertha cannon. As you guys can see, it is absolutely ginormous. We are going to make it a little bit longer because, uh, yeah, at the moment it just doesn't seem to be long enough. So I'm actually going to make it really, really big like this. You know, we could actually build like naval guns with this. We could also build, I don't know, the rat? Is that what it's called? Or the rat -t rat -t 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 the, uh, the massive German tank thing. Uh, yeah, that would be cool too. But um, yeah, for now, we're going to just build an actual gun. So this right here is the feeder. Uh, this will allow us to actually put ammo into the gun itself, which is awesome. There we go. That seems pretty good. Uh, if we go ahead and we add a corner piece, we can then actually lower some stuff into it as well. And then if we bring it back down, then we should be able to actually bring things up to there and feed it in. Yes. All right, cool. I'm hoping that works. I, I really don't know, though. How do these work? This is this is a question. So we could actually, like, put this in, I, I guess, like... Oh. Oh, interesting. Maybe if this goes a little bit... All right, okay. Let me try something. So if this goes a little bit higher, right, using something like this. Here we go. We can attach that to there, that to there. There we go. And then let's say we angle it off. Uh, off of the sides. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. If we angle this off of this side like this There we go. We should oh wait. Can we actually just put this in? Can we have one of these? Oh, we can we can have it on both sides amazing uh, So if we angle this down like so uh, But facing the other way obviously because we need it to all aim forwards Otherwise, we are definitely gonna have issues probably <laughs> if we load the ammunition the wrong way around, we'll probably have an issue. But no, if we add them like that, that is pretty good. And then I guess if we add a corner piece like this one, we can actually load them up like this. That is pretty sick. However, knowing which way around these are is very difficult to see. But that's all right. That's all good. Yes. All right, cool. So let's say we've got that. Uh, and then we add straight pieces. We should, in theory, be able to literally just have a straight line behind here now and this is where all of the ammunition is stored yes all right yeah this will totally work bam whack that on there whack that on there and do it again and do it again and yeah that'll be awesome good uh so someone in the comments down below did actually say uh that they wanted to see this and to be honest with you i also wanted to be able to see this so i'm gonna go ahead and do it you know there we go right one there and one there all right very good so, so far, this is our gun. It looks weird, not gonna lie, but that's okay. It's allowed to. Alright, so, from here, we're actually gonna go ahead and add... Uh, we're gonna go in this color. Uh, we're gonna add one of these pieces right about there. We're gonna add one of those pieces there as well. Uh, we need to do this on both sides, obviously. Obviously, because this is our, our holdy uppy structure-y stuff. And we're actually gonna go ahead and put that there like that. We're going to put this piece right here, and we're going to put this piece right here. And then, in theory, we can just attach this to the floor. Uh, attach this to the floor. There we go, just like that. And everything will be fine, and it'll all stand up correctly. Good. Okay. Right, we're going to paint some of this as well. All the white bits are actually going to be grey, and that's fine. Nice. Okay, so honestly, with the way we've built this so far, we can't actually turn the gun or aim the gun at all. Um, in the future, we will be able to do that, but for now, I just want to be able to shoot it. So that's what we're going to attempt to do now. Uh, so if we go to the side, we're actually going to build a little mini platform. So we're going to do something like this. There we go, something like this and something like this. And the little mini platform is going to go on both sides, but we're only going to use one side of it. There we go. Okay, good. So, let's go ahead and start building it, shall we? We need some buttons. Uh, there we go, literally just some of these. Here we go, we'll attach one, two, three. Okay, that seems fine. Yes, we need a battery. And actually, we'll put the batteries on the other side. There we go, so we actually make use of this space at least a little bit. There we go. And we can attach all of this together. All right, whack that on there, whack it on there. And attach that to there, and these to here. Very nice. 
Okay, now if we're, uh, we're being honest, we need to know what this does. So that's feed. This is open breach. And this right here is the trigger. Okay, so open breach. Open, I'll just type in open for now. There we go. Uh, on this bit, we'll have load. And then on this bit, we'll have fire. There we go. All right, good. So in theory, this gun should work already. Uh, what I do need to do... Oh, there's a junction switch too. So we can actually switch it over. Uh, in reality, I would like it to just uh, switch automatically. Uh, but because we're going for simplicity right now, we'll do it ourselves. Okay, so switch right there. So in theory, we could just use all of this side and then use all of this side afterwards. And that would be fine. Okay, right. So if we select all of these, we do actually need to load them all up with ammo. Yeah. Okie dokie, so everything on this side is high explosive, everything on this side is high explosive, so in the middle right here we'll have fragmentation, and we'll do this for literally every single one of these guys, uh, down the middle, and then we should be good to actually go, yeah we should be good to go now. Alright, spawn it in, let's see what it looks like, alright that is indeed a big boy, uh, and the legs actually need to be a little bit longer, unfortunately, okay, in fact we just need to support the front, so in theory, if I literally just... I don't know, build another block underneath of here. Then we should be good. Yeah. Okay, the extra block didn't actually work. We need to grab this and we need to put it on here. Uh, in theory, on both sides, that would make sense. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then just grab one of these and we'll put it right there like that. There we go. Now it shouldn't tip over, I don't think. Ready? It still tips over. It is a very heavy gun. Okay, so instead of just adding like a support right there, we should probably just add weights to the back, to be honest. Okie dokie, so the weights are going to go in the back just like this. There we go, and that should be enough weight, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to add a little bit more just to make sure. Alright, there we go. Yes, that is enough weight. Very good. Okay, so now we can fire it straight into a mountain. Here we go. These are what they look like in the actual tube. So there's one in there, then we continue. There's only one in this big angled bit, but that's okay for now. And there is none actually loaded into the gun. So we load it. So we... Oh. No, we don't. We don't, we don't. We open it. There we go. We open it up. There, yeah, nice. Okay. And then we load it. Okay, so that should actually fold down. There we go, it worked. Alright, very good. And then we actually... Uh, close it again. Okay, awesome. And then we should fire. As you guys can see right here, they've all moved forwards. Amazing. And if you guys are ready, we'll fire it. Oh my god. Okay, right. If we have navy ships with things on it like this, there is going to be some massive destruction going on. That's so cool. Alright, okay. But I want to see this thing work right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to stop the fire button. We're going to open it up. There we go. Takes a little while to reload, but that's fine because it's such a huge gun. It makes sense. We then load it. Alright, so... There we go. Look at that move. Look at it move. They all move. That's fantastic. And then we can actually close it and then fire. Amazing. Yeah. I didn't expect there to be animations for this bit. And there is. But there is no animation for uh, this bit being loaded into the feeder. Into the actual gun. Which is strange, but anyway, fire again. Nice! That is epic! That's so cool. Okay, so instead of actually firing off all of those rounds, we're gonna go ahead and have the first one be fragmentation, and then the second one be high explosive, and we'll see the difference. Alright, everybody ready? Everybody ready? We're gonna go ahead and open her up, there we go. So the first one is fragmentation, second one is high explosive, and then we're probably not gonna load any more from there, but here we go. Press the load button. There we go, we loaded it in. We're gonna go ahead and close it. Oh, look at it slide down, that's so cool. I love the animations for this actually. Except from the one that it teleports into there. That bit's a bit bad, but that's okay. Anyway, right, if you are ready, we're gonna go ahead and fire this. Fragmentation, away! Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, that's the fragmentation one. Okay, cool. Open this up, load the next one in, and we'll fire it, it's high explosive, and hopefully it'll look different. Maybe. Okie dokie, close it in. There we go. That is awesome. It is getting ready to be fired. And hopefully this will all go well. Yes. Alright, here we go. It's closed. It is closed. And we're firing. And yeah, okay. So it's a little bit of a bigger explosion. And also... Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's a little bit of a bigger explosion. And um, 
yeah, that, that's cool. That is so cool. It's very easy to actually make these guns as well. Uh, and all of the parts are actually very simple, which I wasn't expecting. Not from Stormworks. So, I like it. Good. One thing that I will say is that you can't actually carry these, uh, these, these, these rounds. Uh, and there isn't actually a way to get these rounds uh, any other way than uh, spawning in the gun, which is is a thing. But if we actually go down to the artillery one, and we spawn in a few of these, there we go, let's say two, we'll have one with a high explosive, and then on the other side, we'll have one with a fragmentation. There is also armor piercing as well, but there we go. If we load these in, then you can actually lift these up. You can lift up the artillery ones. Look at that. So you can actually walk with an artillery shell. Amazing, right? But yeah, it is literally only the artillery shells that you can do that with. So um, there you go. Um, but anyway, I think I might actually... Oh, no, what? You know what? We'll actually put it up against something. We'll shoot something with this. Okie dokie. So here we are in the scenario. That's the ship that I've been building over the past... Well, actually, it took a long time. Or it was a while ago that I was building this ship. But anyway, this ship right here is uh, is empty on the inside. There's no fuel. There's no engines. There's no nothing. It's literally just a hull. So we're going to shoot this thing at it. And hopefully we, we hit it. Uh, and we're going to be shooting it with the fragmentation rounds to begin with. So, let's go ahead and open this up, and start loading, and then hopefully, we'll do quite a lot of damage to that thing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put that back real quick, let's go ahead and close this up, and we'll start shooting. Also, one thing that I did just notice, is that there's this thing right here, which is kind of interesting. It looks like it's a static object, uh, but it's also just like a radio thing. That's kind of cool. We got push buttons in here, we got keypads, uh, capturing. Oh, we have to capture the island! Interesting. I don't know why you'd have to do that, but sure. That's kind of cool. Anyway, we're not going to do that right now. We're firing our gun. This is what we're concentrating on today. Come on. Fire the gun. Ah! I think we missed. I honestly think we missed. I can't actually change the way I'm aiming either. I'm going to move the boat backwards. So we definitely hit it. Okay, there we go. So we're firing straight down the line. This should be okay. All right, open, load. Let's do this. Okie dokie, everybody ready for this? It is going to be great. It is actually going to be so cool. Also, I have noticed that these ones seem orange and these ones seem yellow. And I think they are actually different shells, which is, um, yeah, that, they are different shells. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, right, ready to fire? Go. Oh my god. Okay, well, we've knocked the ship over. Let's go see the damage. This was the fragmentation one. Hot diggity dog. Wow. That is crazy damage. Is it damaged all the way on the inside? Yes, look at that. All the way to there. The explosion range on that is crazy. That is crazy. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to respawn it. And we're going to shoot it with high explosive and see if it does more or less damage. Okay, dokily. So if everybody is ready, our high explosive is going in and we are going to be able to see this happen. So if you guys are ready, we're going to go ahead and fire it. Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay, right, there's a big fiery explosion, and it seems to do about the same amount of damage. Interesting. Okay, okay, yeah, about the same amount of damage. Maybe even a tiny bit less, because there was a bit there last time. But, um, yeah, that is awesome. This gun is actually really, really cool. It's very easy to set up. Uh, I don't know how the hinges and stuff are going to work, uh, in terms of actually being able to lift this, but, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be completely fine. Actually, you know what? I don't know whether it'll be completely fine. But anyway, woo! Nice! Look at that! Look at that! That is so cool! That is so, so cool. But anyway, uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Uh, if you guys want to play with this stuff, then you'll have to get the DLC, which was, is going to be available on the 5th of October. I'm not sure when this video is going to be out, so I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this is awesome. It is so, so cool. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.